Nurses have a great chance to immigrate to the U.S. Nurses are categorized as scheduled shortage professions by the U.S. Department of Labor, making it simpler for them to come to the U.S. than other jobs. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I want to talk about different ways that foreign-born nurses can come to the U.S. for work. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it right now and like the video because, believe me, you don't want to miss out on our future videos. Nurses must pass the NCLEX and CGFNS tests, pass an English language test, obtain a visa screen certificate, and have U.S. employers sponsoring them. What types of nurses are in high demand in the U.S.? The U.S. needs licensed practical nurses or LPN, registered nurses or RN, travel nurses, aid surgical nurses, emergency room nurses, oncology nurses, nurse informatics specialists, nurse managers, nurse educators, nurse anesthetics, midwives, and nurse practitioners. Is any nursing position eligible? No. The Department of Labor has identified the nursing jobs that will be eligible. However, the good news is that the most registered nursing roles will qualify, such as general duty nurses, nurse instructors, nurse practitioners, and school nurses. Furthermore, the position must be full-time. Are all nurses permitted to immigrate to the U.S.? Sadly, not all foreign educated nurses can come to work in the U.S. Unqualified nurses include, but are not limited to nurses with no more than two years of experience, nurses who do not have a four-year nursing degree, people who have violated the law, nurses who a respected nursing agency does not support. Yeah, that's it. What are the types of U.S. work visas for nurses? Because nurses are in short supply in the United States, there are several options to immigrate there as a nurse. We have number one, H-1B visa. It is for professional nurses to work temporarily in the U.S. Your potential employer would have to show that your nursing profession is a specialized occupation. For this, the USCIS employs a four-branched test. The position must satisfy one of the four branches. Number one, a bachelor's degree or higher, or its equivalent, is usually required. Number two, the degree required for the work is industry standard, or the job is so complex or unusual that someone with a degree can only complete it. Number three, the employee usually requires a degree or its equivalent. Number four, because the na nature of this specific activities is so specified and complicated, the knowledge necessary to accomplish the duties is often connected with a bachelor's or higher degree. Typically, USCIS focuses on the first pillar, determining if a bachelor's degree is necessary for the nursing position. Because many states do not need a bachelor's degree for a standard registered nursing post, Obtaining an H-1B visa as a nurse might be challenging. Most states, however, demand a shorter qualification procedure for this profession. Talk with your employer and check the criteria for the registered nurse position in the state where you want to work. Number two, U.S. green card. Nurses must be offered a permanent nursing position in the U.S. A labor certification or PERM process must also be completed on their behalf by the employer. This visa application must be completed before traveling to the United States. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services handles PERM for foreign nurses. The ETA Form 9089 and an I-140 petition are completed by your employee and submitted to the USCIS.
You can apply for a US green card by submitting the form I-485 with USCIS from the date USCIS approves your I-140 petition and your priority date becomes current, meaning there is a visa number available. Number three, TN visa. Nursing professionals from Mexico and Canada can work in the US with a TN visa if they have a job offer, a license to practice in their home country, and pass the NCLEX and a state licensing examination. Number four, H1C visa. Foreign nurses can get an H1C visa to fill a shortage area for health professionals specified by the Department of Labor or DOL. DOL must provide attestation to petitioning hospitals confirming that they meet the requirements before filing for an H1C visa with the USCIS. For example, hospitals must be located in a health professional shortage region, among other conditions. How to immigrate to the US as a foreign nurse? Step one, meet the education requirements for nurses in the US. Number one, successful compilation of an authorized registered nursing program like a bachelor or a science in nursing or an associate degree in nursing. Number two, registration as a registered nurse. Number three, at least two years of experience working as a registered nurse. And yeah, that's it. Step two, complete a course for foreign educated nurses. Most states additionally need foreign nurses to take a refresher course for foreign educated nurses or FEN. The course is divided into 120 hours of classroom instruction and 120 hours of clinical practice. Step 3. Complete language proficiency test for English. Certain foreign nurses must pass an English test such as TOEFL, uh, T-O-E-I-C or IELTS. Nurses who attend a nursing school in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, excluding Quebec or Ireland, or those who spoke English in nursing schools and had textbooks published in English are excluded. Step 4. Take and pass the NCLEX-RN exam. Step 5. Request that the CGFNS evaluates your credentials. Allow the Commission on Graduates of Foreign Nursing Schools or CGFNS to verify that you fulfill the minimum requirements and are qualified to take the NCLEX. Step 6. Find a nursing recruiting agency or employer in the US. You have numerous possibilities, but a recruiting agency must sponsor you. Some nurses prefer working with an independent recruiter and agency rather than directly with a hospital. Agencies are well versed in assisting nurses working in the US and they have processes to guarantee that all information and paperwork is done correctly. Step 7. Get a nursing employment visa or a work visa. Obtain one of the available visas I already mentioned. Let's go a little bit deeper into the green cards for nurses. I mentioned the I-140 petition. What are the required documents for an I-140 petition in the US? Number one, filled out PERM labor certification paperwork. Number two, an advertisement for a job opening placed on a job site for at least 10 business days. This ad must provide a job description, working hours, and pay rates. Number three, evidence showing the petitioning company has the financial means to pay the nurse's wage. Copies of yearly reports, federal tax fillings, or audited financial statements must be provided as proof. If the U.S. company employs 100 or more people, the USCIS may accept a statement from the organization's financial officer. 
Number four, applicants must have a CGFNS certificate or nurse license from the state where they will work or must have passed the NCLEX and demonstrate that they cannot obtain a permit because they lack a social security number. Number five, diploma or degree nursing. Number six, nursing registration from the country where the degree was acquired. After the completion of these requirements, the Commission on the Graduates of Foreign Nursing Schools will grant the nurse a CGFNS certificate. This certificate program aims to act as a predictive evaluation method for determining whether nurses will be able to achieve the standards for the U.S. licensure if admitted to the nation. The nurse is excluded from earning a CGFNS credential if they have already completed the NCLEX-RN test. What is a visa screen? When do healthcare professionals need one? Healthcare professionals can take advantage of visa credential assessment service or visa screen. It is necessary to visit the visa screen certificate to the USCIS before adjusting status and to a US consulate before issuing a US permanent residency visa. However, neither the certificate nor approval of the I-140 application are required at the start of the adjustment process. Employers and sponsors now can apply on behalf of their nurses who are already present in the U.S. The process is usually simpler for these nurses. A petition for alien working and adjustment of a status filed with 90 to 120 days of filling will result in immediate work authorization. At USCIS Region Service Centers, adjustment applications generally take 18 to 24 months. A nurse must still show a visa screen certificate before completing the adjustment of a status process. Finally, nurses must satisfy the requirements of the petition for alien work and a state board of nursing in the state for which they intend to practice nursing. Additional limiting criteria may vary among the state's Department of Professional Regulation. But there you go. Now you have the necessary information you need to immigrate to the U.S. as a nurse. If you wish to know more about visas you can get and salaries in the U.S., go to our article and read about them in detail. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the description and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.